Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! Time to get on my moat, grab my moat, grab my coke, and get on my computer and watch some swing dancing videos at ILHC. This is a good one, guys. I love this one. This Strictly Lindy competition is like the best of the showcase where you can choreograph stuff. Uh, best of social dancing, plus live band, plus rowdy audience. It's good. This is my absolute favorite competition aside from just doing a traditional Jack and Jill because you get to choreograph a little bit, just a little bit. And if it's choreographed too much, then off with their heads, right? That's what I do when I judge. I just, I'm super hard when it's too much choreography. Although I've done that in the past. But now I feel different about it. So, let me put my judge face on. Are we ready? All right, we're going to watch this video and see what's up. Let's go. And here we Who's go. It? Okay. This looks good. This looks like it's gonna be good. We got Niels, somebody else. We got Todd, his partner. I don't know who he's dancing with. Uh, who is that? That is Felipe. Number one, not for the couple who has control, because obviously they can all dance. They all got control. I'm going to be looking for timing. And that simply means, can they at least do something with the music where it's very obvious that the music is making a sound, right? Um, I don't know how they want to do that, but I'm looking for timing. And I'm also looking for creativity. I want to see something new. This is supposed to be the best of the best, coming to the best of the best events. We will see about that, in my opinion. I want to see something fresh and new, and I think these dancers can bring it this year. Because I've seen a lot of great dance at this event. Let's hope we see something new. You will get a whole chorus. Every couple gets a chorus. After we get through all six couples, there's going to be a drum break. Luckily, the person doing the drum break is John. All right. Man, that drummer is amazing. It's amazing. He's amazing. He's so talented. He's also been known to swing out a time or two. So he's going to take the tempo up ever so slightly on that drum break. Then after that, we got blues chorus coming through. You're going to get two of them. Well, so they counts, baby. Counts for each Woo! Time well, that's... Follow me on this map. There's going to be one more drum break. The tempo will raise yet it's again. It's going to be good. And then it's going to be an all skip. Yeah. They're all happy because they don't have to do it. They hey, I want to do it. So I'll just say everybody, we're gonna be clapping, we're gonna be going crazy. When that drum break comes, they come need to so. scream instead of clap because the tempo will I'm a dad, so I got scream. responsibilities. All right, let's make sure we I get it right to stay up here the whole time. Everybody, we're gonna get this thing started. Let's have our first couple step out onto the floor. For our first advance, we're gonna get the floor. Familiarity. It should be a brief intro, and you get into your chorus. Four part intro. Four bar intro, that's two big counts, you guys. Here we, we go. go. Check out the job. Stop working, John. Let's get started. Here we go. Mm. Mm.
wow. Where do I even begin? I know I started off saying that I wasn't going to be looking at the control aspect that much. Since all of these dancers do know how to dance at this level, they understand the technique. So what's the point in saying, hey, you didn't do it just this smooth enough or whatever. That, that's kind of more into the subjective realm on how you want to look doing the control. But I will have to say, guys, man, the, the timing is what differentiated this competition for me. Because I think there was only about three couples that had like something that was special that I, some of it I've seen before, but not quite that way. And that's what I like seeing. It's something either fresh, completely new, which you really get mad props from me, but maybe something that's been done, but not done a certain way that we've recognized. And I think uh, for me, number one, number one was the first, the first round that they did it, I wasn't very impressed. It was okay. In fact, some of the dancers were more, uh, were stronger when the tempo was slower as opposed to the faster set. But the first uh, first place for me, when I think about that fast set, I got to go to Remy and Ramona. Now, it's weird because I, I was kind of distracted by everybody else, but what got me to pay attention to them the most, and I think the move that stuck to me the most wasn't a move at all. It was about them simply stopping. And I was like, oh, it was like someone took, <laughs> took some cold water and just threw it on my back. I saw, the, I saw the stop and I was like, oh, okay, that was cool. And then it was like they were having this conversation with me as I was watching it. It was like, maybe you didn't see that, Chapin. We're going to do it one more time in a place that you don't even expect. <laughs> they look to the right. I think, yeah, they look, look to the side. That won the competition for me because I can remember that. That was just so simple. There was a lot of social dancing, the control parts there. But the timing of that move was just as special of it as, as being a brand new move I hadn't seen. Because I've never seen someone do that particular timing in an echo effect where they do it once and everybody's like, ooh, that was kind of cute. And the second time they were like, you better think it's cute. Look at it. We're going to do it again in perfect time. That was dope. So first place for me, I have to give it to them. Their first round, I didn't care too much for that. I didn't care too much. I, I think a lot of everybody's style is kind of homogenous right now. And the tone of it, how everybody moves, they kind of kind of float around, do their movements. The, the only ones that looked a little different to me, of course, Niels and Bianca, and uh, who was that? Ricard and Pamela. They just looked look different. There were just some weird movements and stuff, you know, different things happening. It wasn't as uh, predictable in, a, in tone, and so it made me want to watch. But the delivery of Remy's fast, Remy Ramona's fast set uh, convinced me that they got first place. Now, the, the couple that got first when it came to the slow set for me, now that's tough. Some people kind of played a little bit, of, played off on the, the crowd appeal and doing little silly things and posing and stuff, and that's cool. But I, I like to see what you can actually do to slow dancing, to slow music or mid-tempo music. That's that sweet spot for me that says a lot about uh, a person's ingenuity and their contribution to Lindy Hop. Because that's my sweet spot tempo, uh, seeing what you can actually lead and follow. Now, uh, second place for me, I would have to give it to you as a, as a whole, uh, Todd Yannacone. And his partner, I couldn't get a glimpse of who his partner was up close because my screen is kind of small, but they crushed it. Their slow was kind of more conservative. The, the tone of it was kind of predictable, but the control aspect of it was super high. The technicality of it, you can see they knew what they were doing. But then when it's fast, they were doing some stuff that was choreographed, like a little bit of like sh shag stuff. And then they weren't doing stuff that was choreographed. He was actually like leading it. They were like doing some kind of little thing like that. On the beat, that's next level leading and following. So mad props to them on that. They would probably be uh, my second place. And then my third place, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I would probably give it uh, to uh, Felipe and Laura Glace. They would have been my third place because they did a couple of moves with that left hand. I think it was the follower's left hand, Remy, uh, not Remy. Uh, Felipe did something with her left hand a couple of times and few spots that I did not 
expect to see happen. And I, I was surprising to me because I like when people use that left hand, which is like the weird one when you're social dancing. Um, it's kind of like off limits. But they did something a couple of times that was quite impressive and it grabbed my attention. And just for that, because they already had control, uh, they had something I haven't seen. They had that creativity part and made them at least get that third place spot. So that's my opinion, guys. Not to say everybody else was terrible. They're all professionals. They're all good. But if I was up there judging, I would be first going, can I do that? Probably. Yeah, if I worked a couple of, couple of hours on that, yeah, I could probably do that. Ariel. Might throw my back out a little bit. But I'm also looking for stuff I can't do. That's the kind of stuff I really am inspired by. And so I didn't see anything that was just outside of the ordinary. Maybe in another 40 years when I can't actually move that much. You know, I might be looking for other things, but I didn't see stuff I couldn't do per se, but I did see something I hadn't seen before. And that stop. They did it twice. That's first place, guys. First place. So am I wrong? I could be wrong. What do you think? Who do you think got first place in this competition? This is my favorite one. So I'm super critical on this one. Um, I think Remy and Ramona crushed this one, especially on the fast one. The slow one was okay for me. Didn't grab my attention. Other dancers had that, had a little bit more appeal uh, for what I was looking for. But I couldn't really judge them on the technique because they can all dance. So who cares? I'm looking at, well, what can you actually do that's different with the technique? We're professionals. And so I was blown away by that. So what do you guys think? Am I wrong? Like I said, somebody else better. Do you think someone else should have won the competition? Maybe? <sighs> I don't know, but hit me in the comments. I wanna hear what your thoughts are on this. If you are not in the game doing a Strictly, find a partner. I remember when I did my first Strictly, it was at ILHC, it was years ago. I didn't have a partner. I had to work with a partner in Spain. So I had to learn how to master social dancing and then throw some choreography on top of it because I had to figure out if my moves would work with my partner whom I could not practice with. So if you're learning how to social dance and you want to be able to do it strictly, that's good. Start with social dancing. The choreography stuff will be easy to you. So I encourage you, take some of the lessons below that I have. You can take them in private, on your phone, at home. You can kind of go through and go, what's the move? How do I do this? Oh, okay. But more importantly, I want you to understand that Lindy Hop isn't difficult. It is not easy, but it's simple enough where you should be able to understand and put forth a lot of effort to get the results that you want. And I want to help you out if you're struggling. So hit me in the comment section, guys. This was a great performance. Congrats to everybody uh, who brought something I haven't seen before. You guys are amazing. Uh, it keeps me going as an artist. So anyway, I will see everybody else either in class or in the next video.